Surfing is like any sport. In order to do well, you need to be confident. It's about believing in yourself. If you have that belief, it's amazing what you can achieve. But if you lose it, you're dead in the water. After eight months of Solar Blue, it was easy to see that all six of us had become much more confident than when we'd started. In the beginning, we'd all had a few good days and a lot of bad ones. Now, you could drop us into any swell on any break and we knew we could give a good account of ourselves. In lots of little ways, the six of us were barely recognisable as the gawky kids who stumbled in here all those months ago. How long are you going to be, mate? A whole pile of clothes to get through. Don't rush me. I'll be finished when I'm finished, right? Is that going to be this year or next? Listen, mate, when you get your collars as crisp as mine, then you can talk. Until then, just enjoy watching a master at work. Who believed that Adam and Guy, two of the sloppiest creatures in the universe, could turn into gold medal ironing buffs? And Charlie, who couldn't boil water when he got here, and now become one of the world's great kitchen hands. This will be the vegetable soup to end all vegetable soups. Don't forget these. Coming right up. While Lauren, who'd always been a good cook, was now our super chef supreme. As for Bridget, she'd gone from the most inept pool player you've ever seen Shot. to someone who was now seriously hard to beat. OK, so playing pool, cooking and ironing. Mine be earth-shattering stuff, but they were all things people couldn't do eight months ago, and now we're like second nature to everyone. If confidence comes as a result of doing the little things right, then these guys were brimming with it. For me personally, the thing that had begun to pay off big time was something I never dreamed would be possible. School was something I'd never start at. As the year had gone by, though, I'd begun to surprise everyone, especially myself. Overall, some excellent answers to this week's assignment. I was pleasantly surprised. Even by you, Guy, you actually managed to answer the question. Well, relevance is my middle name, sir. Oh, pity about the first one. And your last? Oh, settle it down. <laughs> well done, Cassie. That's three A's in a row now. Good work. Putting the rest of us to shame. I don't know whether confidence breeds success or success breeds confidence. Either way, school was suddenly a lot more fun when they both kicked in. If I had to pick a single reason as for why my confidence had increased, then I didn't have to look any further than the five kids I lived with. Just being around them was enough to make anyone feel good. Knowing that they were also looking out for me was the icing on the cake. All right, so do we go to Swordfish Bay or what? Yes, yeah. count me in. Me yeah? too. I'll be there. Mm, some pretty bad rips there. Yeah, the rips yeah. are down the south end. You stick to the north end, which will be fine. Yeah. Yes, but on the north end, that break gets really dodgy at low tide. Yeah. Oh, pipe down, negative Nancy. Sorry, I'm just putting it out there, that's all. Cool, so it's settled then? Yeah. Just try and stop it. <laughs> hey, um, you're not really worried about this, eh? No, no, I just think we've got to play it smart, especially on that break. Yeah, hey, come on, we always play it smart. I'll remind you of that when I have to pick you up off the South American coast after the rip carries you there. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Way too good. So, there it was. Eight months in and my life was on a roll. Confidence was high and the future looked rosy. But confidence is a tricky little beast. Just when you think you've got it all wrapped up, it can slip through your fingers quicker than a greasy spoon. The turning point for me came later that afternoon when we all went down to tackle the break at Swordfish Bay. Looks dangerous over the rocks. Check out that left. That is mine. No way. That left is so dodgy. Stick to the right. The left will leave you high and dry on the rocks in like a second. That was my first mistake. I didn't listen. I'd vaguely heard what Adam had said, but I was so intent on picturing the ride I was going to get that it went in one ear and out the other. Everyone ready? Let's yep. do it. You going to be all right? Just try and hold me back.
I call a wave? Aren't you glad we came? <laughs> Top call, girls. Did you see that wave Cassie caught? No, wait, where is Cassie? She's going for another wave over that rock ledge. You guys ready for another one? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about it. The sets here were really amazing and I couldn't wait for the next one. Which is when I made my next mistake. What's Cassie doing over by the ledge? I thought we told her not to go off there. When you're in an accident, things happen in slow motion. Well, this felt really slow. Especially the bit where the rocks jumped up to kiss me hello. Cassie! Cassie! She's hurt and lost her board! She's gotta get off those rocks! She'll be shredded by the time Adam gets anywhere near her. the worse things started to look. But I could see that if I didn't do something, I'd end up on the rocks again. Cassie! Cass, yeah. Get up, here, hold on. Are you okay? Yeah. I cut my foot pretty badly, though. Back. I don't know how bad, but we'll need some transport. They're bringing her in now. Leave you there. Uh, Come on, we got you. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what about you? Yeah, I'll be cool. Just get Cassie in now. When you guys go out a social outing, you don't do it half-heartedly, do you? We didn't exactly mean for anything to happen. Why didn't you follow the drill? You know the rules when you go out in a new break. You stay together and you keep away from the rocks. Yeah, well, that's how we planned it to be. So what went wrong? Cassie just misread the break. It happens. Well, it's going to be an expensive misread, isn't it? Why? Well, that foot of hers isn't going to heal in a hurry. There's no way she's going to make that comp in three weeks. W what comp? 